Okay, so I quickly just wanted to show how I make an order on dis Discount Comic Book Service. I start off by going into the pull list. I'll go through it and delete anything that I, I no longer want. Or titles that have already ended, like uh, Briggs Land Lone Wolves. That was a mini series that's now over, so I just remove it. Once I've done that, I go up to the top and I hit begin order. And from there, I'll check it, see if there's anything I don't want. And I will zero it out. And at the bottom, they will have variants, which I usually don't get. And then below that, they will have the items that don't have a match. So I'm done with that. I will add full list to the cart. And show me total. From there, you can check out. Uh, I don't I go into pre-orders start going through the publishers they have different layouts this is the one I prefer so I can see them and then I change it to 100 per page to make it quicker and I just go through and see if there's anything I want to add and I can click on it I'm not sure and a longer solicit for it. If it's already in your cart, it'll show up like this. And at the top of each page, it'll show you your cart, how many items you got, and your price. Even though I don't read any current Marvel, I still check out their trades, see if there's any back issues that I want. Last publisher I always check out is Image, just because they have the most interesting stuff. Once I'm done going through all the publishers I want to, I, I go to the cart, give me a total at the bottom, and hit checkout. And then this month, there's free comic book day. It allows me to select four titles. And I do continue checkout. It has my shipping address. And this shows my selections for bags and boards and shipping frequency. Standard shipping is once a month. These other two will cost you extra. It shows you your total for your shipping, bags and boards. You continue to review, and then complete order. After I do that, I go back into my account and under order history, this is the order I just made. What I want to do is I want to add any new series to my pull list. And I just do update pull list. And it's been added. In this order, I can still edit for a few days. And that's it. That's how I do an order.